Hello, my dear students. Welcome back to Shlokas Academy YouTube channel. In the last video, we have discussed about Rutherford atomic model and all three results of Rutherford atomic model. And we also discussed about limitations of the Rutherford atomic model. And today, here we are going to discuss some important terms that we are going to use in atomic structure. That is atomic number, mass number, isotopes, isotones, isobars, isodiaphers, and isoelectronic species. For all these terms, we are going to discuss the definition and examples also. Right. So first, let me discuss what is atomic number. atomic number right so atomic number generally it is denoted by a symbol z which is equal to number of protons present in the any atom number of protons that are present in any atom any nucleus for example let me take uh, uh, what is that carbon carbon atomic number is six and it's a uh, that means there are six protons in the carbon six protons in the carbon. If the atom is neutral, in case of neutral atom, like carbon, always number of protons is equal to number of electrons. If the atom is charged one, for example, if I take sodium, whose atomic number is 11, so in this we have 11 protons and 11 electrons because it is a neutral atom. If I take plus one charge, then the number of electrons will become Right, 10 electrons. For neutral atoms, the number of protons and number of electrons must be equal to each other. When you take charged one, if it is a cation, you have to remove the charge present on the cation from the atomic number to get the number of electrons. For an example, if I take sodium plus one ion and I want to calculate number of protons, how much it is 11, and number of electrons, Number of electrons, it is equal to Z minus charge on the cation. Charge on cation. That means what is Z for sodium 11? And what is the charge on cation here? It is minus 1. That is equal to 10. And if it is anion, like I am taking Cl minus, whose atomic number is 70. And if I want to calculate number of electrons here, so Z plus charge on anion charge on anion that is in case of what is that a uh, charged ions anions that is z plus z is how much 17 plus 1 18 electrons are present in cl minus ion this is about atomic number and in the similar way we should discuss about mass number what is mass number which is denoted with a symbol a Mass number is nothing but sum of the number of protons and neutrons present in the nucleus. Means P plus N. Number of protons and number of neutrons present in the nucleus is called as mass number. For example, and it is denoted by E. For example, if I take carbon, 6 and 12, always it is 12. That means here we have six protons and six neutrons. And if I take nitrogen, 14 and seven, we have seven protons and seven neutrons. And from this means mass number A is equal to what you can write number of protons plus number of neutrons. And from this already we know that number of protons is nothing but atomic number. So I can represent it with Z then I can write Z plus N. And if I want to know number of neutrons, number of neutrons, that is N, which is equal to A minus Z. Number of neutrons is equal to A minus Z. So that is how we can find out mass number. So let us review all, all these things. So here, let me discuss what is atomic number, what is mass number, all these. First, let me discuss about atomic number. Right. This is atomic number. 
what is atomic number it is represented by z the number of protons present in nucleus present in the nucleus is called atomic number of an element and it is also known as nuclear charge the atomic number is also called as nuclear charge if you take neutral atom number of protons equal to number of electrons already i have told and for charged atom right number of electrons is equal to z means number of protons minus charge on the atom it may be if it is positive charge you have to take positive charge if it is negative charge you have to take negative charge z is number of protons already we know that next what is mass number here mass number is equal to it is represented by a capital a okay the sum of the number of neutrons and as well as protons is called as mass number of the element it is also called as number of nucleus because neutron and proton where they are present within the nucleus they are present within the nucleus so here a is equal to what you can write number of protons plus number of neutrons so this is what atomic number and after that we should discuss some more important terms like isotopes isobars iso uh, tones like that let me discuss one by one first isotopes right iso means same what is that same here p tops p same number of protons same number of protons means those species having same number of protons are called as isotopes they may differ in number of neutrons number of electrons and e by m value all those things right let me explain with a uh, hydrogen 1 and hydrogen 2 and hydrogen 3 here in all these three cases right the atomic number is same what is the atomic number here 1 and 1 and 1 but what is the mass number it is 1 2 3 3 all three species are having same number of protons, but they differ in number of neutrons and as well as the number of uh, what is that mass number. Such type are called as what is that uh, isotopes. Next, we have to discuss about isotones. Here, n n means number of neutrons. Iso means same. Same number of neutrons. same number of neutrons that means a minus z value should be same how i can take tell me a carbon c 13 and nitrogen 7 14 if you take this carbon here how many neutrons are there 13 minus 6 a minus z how much it is uh, 7 and if you take nitrogen how many neutrons are there 14 minus 7 7 so here these are having different number of protons but same number of uh, different number of protons but same number of neutrons hence these are called as isotones right similarly we can discuss about one more term that is isobars what is isobars same mass number same mass number means a value but differ in atomic number and different number of neutrons for an example if i take potassium 39 19 30 and argon almost 39 20 sorry i made a mistake i can take another example carbon 14 6 and nitrogen 14 7 here the mass number both are having same now mass number that is 14 but they have different atomic number that is why these are called as isobars and next isodiaphers isodiaphers means for example if i take what is this uh, uh, if i take carbon 13 and 6 for this carbon i am writing protons number of protons means which is equal to atomic number 6 and number of neutrons or mass number that is 13 and number of neutrons 13 minus 6 how much 7 and i am taking number of neutrons minus number of protons 
that is a minus z minus z which is equal to a minus 2z it is equal to 13 minus 2 into 16 6 that will give 1 and the similar way i am taking nitrogen and uh, what is that here i am taking 15 and 7 so here also number of protons 7 and mass number 15 number of neutrons 15 minus 7 8 but n minus p value that is a minus 2z 15 minus 2 into 17 2 into 7 which is equal to 14 that is 1 that means both are having same differ in number of protons number of neutrons and number of protons n minus p value they are called as iso diaphors and the last term we have that is iso electronic species iso electronic species iso means same same number of electron for example if i take neon sodium plus mg plus 2 al plus 3 n minus 3 o minus 2 and f minus all these are how many electrons are there in neon 10 how many electrons 10 and 10 10 10 10 so all these species are called as isoelectronic species isoelectronic species right so these are important isoterms let me discuss uh, what are isoterms all these things right so here before going to that one important note we will discuss note what is that note means two different elements cannot have the same atomic number means in the periodic table we have up to now 118 118 elements means total 118 elements are there in the periodic table among all elements present in the periodic table no two elements will have the same atomic number that is very very important and always number of neutrons how you can find out number of neutrons mass number a minus atomic number z that is equal to a minus z right i can go with p plus n minus n p plus n minus n means plus n minus n get cancelled again you will get p only next isotopes right it has given by the scientist sodi right they are the atoms of a given element which have the same atomic number right but different mass number they have different mass number right but and they are having mass number is also called as what is that atomic number is also called as nuclear charge example if i take chlorine 35 chlorine 35 how many neutrons we have 18 20 how to find out number of neutrons here if you want to find the number of neutrons you can find by using the formula so here 35 minus 17 which is equal to 18 and here 37 minus 17 which is equal to 20 20 and 18 number of electrons 17 and 17 both are charged but protons one is 17 one is also 17 isotopes means having same number of protons having same number of protons that is why these are called as isotopes both are having same number that is 17 next isotopes have the same chemical property but they are differ in physical properties yes if i take 1h1 1h2 1h3 all three hydrogen atoms are having same electronic configuration 1h1 1s1 but what is the weight 1 2 3 the mass is physical property electronic configuration is chemical property that means these three are the isotopes and these are having same chemical property but they differ in physical property next isotopes never have the same e by m value they do not have e by m value if you want you take 1h1 is called as protium 1h1 and 1h2 is called as deuterium and 1h3 is called as tritium so in e1 1 and 1 here protons 1 1 1 neutrons 0 1 2 so what is e by m value 
one by one, one by two, and one by three. So one H one is the only normal hydrogen which have no neutron. Means number of neutrons is equal to zero. That is, there is no neutron in the hydrogen atom. In the whole periodic table, as we have one hundred and eighteen elements among all. Only the hydrogen atom which do not have any neutron in it. Okay, next let us move on to the isobars. So what are isobars? Already we have defined. It is given by the scientist Austin, and they are the atoms of different elements which have the same mass number but different atomic number, right? And they have different number of electrons, protons, neutrons. But sum of number of neutrons and protons, that is, number of nucleons, remains same. If you take two example, tritium and helium, protons one, protons two differ. They are different, right? Different. And electrons one, electrons two, different, right? Neutrons two, neutron one, different. But sum of the protons and neutrons, that is, a is equal to. Y is equal to both are having same value. That is, these are called as isobars. Next, uh, we'll go for iso. Uh, isobars do not have, so they do not have same chemical and physical properties. Means both physical and chemical properties will differ. Differ because isobars means they are not belonging to the same element. They are different elements. Now, for example, here if you take potassium and calcium both are belonging to the two different elements only they have same mass number that is only the right uh, property which are equal next isodiaphers already told number of difference of the number of neutrons and protons is same you take boron 11 and carbon 13 protons 5 different neutron 6 neutron 7 different number of Protons minus number of neutrons. That is one. Number of protons minus number of neutrons one. So this is isodiaphers. And the finally we have to discuss isoelectronic species. These are the atoms or molecules or ions which are having same number of electrons. Example chlorine minus which is having 18 electrons and argon 18 electrons. As they are having same number of electrons, they are called as iso electronic species so these are the important terms which may come for one mark in your board examinations and for iit jee or neat examinations they may not ask the question directly but indirectly these are very important these will be very useful during organic chemistry also so this is today's class please make the a neat notes and please subscribe and please share as many as possible shares you have to do right thank you